This week at Interior, President Obama announced his proposal for the fiscal year 2014 budget. Secretary Salazar says the budget request maintains critical funding for Interior's essential missions, that of protecting the public lands, waters, and wildlife that enrich local communities and power their economies, driving tourism and energy development, and advancing the causes of American Indians and Alaska Native communities. The department's budget right now stands at a point uh, that's a level that essentially is about the same level of 2006 and 2007. That's not sustainable for the future of the department uh, to carry on its uh, mission as the custodian of America's natural resources and, and history. Salazar says the president's 2014 budget makes smart investments and tough choices. For a full, detailed look at the 2014 budget request, check out www.doi.gov budget. The president's choice for Secretary Salazar's successor has been confirmed by the Senate. Sally Jewell's nomination for Secretary of the Interior was approved this week by a strong bipartisan vote of 87 to 11. She'll take the reins at the department next week and says she looks forward to meeting the more than 70,000 interior employees across the country who have chosen a career in public service, from the park rangers to wildlife biologists to oil and gas engineers. The National Park Service wants more people to look up and take in the wonders of the skies. April 5th through April 11th marks International Dark Skies Week, and the Park Service has teamed up with Global Explorers to create a new public service announcement called The Day the Lights Went Out. The PSA tells the story of a young artist inspired by the night sky, but his inspiration and his art suffers as artificial light starts to block out the view from above. National Park Service Director John Jarvis says he hopes the new PSA inspires people to discover the night sky in their backyards, or better yet, in their nearest national park. A lighthouse in Hawaii will now bear the name of an American hero. Secretary Salazar this week announced the Kilauea Lighthouse is being renamed in honor of the late Hawaiian Senator Daniel K. Inoue. Inoue, a Medal of Honor recipient for his heroism during World War II, passed away in December. He represented the people of Hawaii for more than six decades. The lighthouse overlooking Kilauea Point will be formally dedicated to Senator Inoue next month. And the blossoms have finally bloomed in the nation's capital, just in time for the climax of the Cherry Blossom Festival this weekend. Temperatures in Washington, D.C. soared into the 70s and 80s, perfect weather for the hundreds of thousands in town to take in those world-famous blossoms. That's this week at Interior.